Good morning, everyone. I would like to call the Home Advisory Group meeting to order of February 1st, 2022. Roll call, please, Marjorie. Consuelo Aguilas? Here. Dan Bastion? Here. Ruth Broder? Amy Chavez? Here. Lauren Chassie? Here. Michael Sandal? Here. Paula Garcia? Here. William Hennis? Here. Lynn LaPlante? Here. Donald Kuchowski? Julie Renahan? Scott Viger? Here. James A. Hey, thank you very much. Do we have any public comments today? Consuelo, you have a Oh, comment? yes, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I have uh, the interim CD director here, uh, Ellen DeVita for the Village of Willow Park. Um, my last day with Willow Park is on Friday, so she's uh, she's already started as interim. So I want to make sure that she came to this meeting. And Hi, everyone. I know a few of you. <laughs> Hi, welcome. welcome. So please welcome her. Yes, we absolutely. Welcome. Thank you. Hopefully also be in contact with the group and everyone here. So okay. thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the Home Advisory Group regular meeting from Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. And a second. Okay, wonderful. Roll call, please. I'm sorry, I missed who was first. Uh, member Garcia and the member Chavez. Okay. Paul Garcia? Aye. Right. Amy Chavez? Aye. Consuelo Aguilas? Aye. Don Bastion? Aye. Lori Chassie? Aye. Wayne Hennis? Aye. Lynn LaPlante? Aye. Scott Viger? Aye. Okay, thank you. That motion passes. I will entertain a motion to approve the recommendation of two neighborhood stabilization grant agreement modifications with DuPage Habitat for Humanity, project numbers NSP0802 and NSP0802A to correct the affordability period and one neighborhood stabilization grant agreement modification and regulatory and land use restriction agreement, modification with community housing advocacy and development. Project number NSP0801 to correct the affordability period. Thank you, do I have a second? second? Thank you very much. Dave, would you like to come Sure, in? I mean, first I would say we meant that blurb as hard to read as possible. And you <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm literally thinking that. <laughs> this is a little bit from the Wayback Machine. So the, after the economic downturn in 2007, 2008, uh, I'd had a program called the Neighborhood Stabilization Program. Basically, we bought foreclosed homes, did rehab work on those homes, and then sold them to income eligible, either home buyers or rented in some cases to income eligible individuals. Um, this is really, at this point, this is a paperwork action. This, the work on these properties is done. The, the, the place we're at now is trying to close out this grant. That's our goal for 2022 is to get this grant final closed and done. Um, when the grant came out, they talked about affordability periods of 40 years and 50 years. And so that's how we rent our agreement. But at some subsequent point, HUD came back and said, no, it needs to match the home rules basically. So it should match the affordability period of the home program which is better for us because it means we don't have to monitor that property for 50 years. So this is reducing that down to, in most cases, less. it's always less than 15 years, but some cases it's 10 years or five years, depending on the amount of money that was invested in the property. So this is really a paperwork cleanup in preparation for closeout of this grant. We will be very happy to get this grant closed and in the rearview merits. Um, and so will HUD, if, we, if we're able to do that, they'll be happy to. So that's just a paperwork action today. Thank you. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That motion passes. Thank you so much. Any other business? But one more thing I should sure. have mentioned, and that's now under it now. So it will result in about $88,000 that come into the CDBG program when we close this out. So there's program income that came in on these properties that will get converted to CDBG. So it'll be a little bit more money for CDBG. I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that. Ooh. Enter it now. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> even even a more enthusiastic eye. Um, okay, with no other business, um, I move to adjourn today's meeting um, and set until our next meeting date, which is March first, twenty twenty two. All in okay. favor? Or do I have a aye? Okay. And hold on. All in first. I have to say, is there a, a motion? I made a so motion. Moved. Thank you. <laughs> Second. Yeah. Woo. All in favor? Aye. Yay, that meeting passes. Movement, oh my gosh, motion passes. <laughs> and now I would like to welcome everyone to the DuPage County 
Community Development Executive Committee meeting of February 1st. And um, roll call, please, Marjorie. Consuelo Aquelas? Here. Don Bastion? Here. Amy Chavez? Here. Lori Chassie? Here. Michael Crandall? Here. Paula Garcia? Here. William Hennick? Here. Lynn LaPlante? Here. Donald Pachowski? Julie Renahan? Fred Biger? Here. James A. Okay, thank you very much. Do we have any public comments for this meeting? Seeing none, okay. I'm um, entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the CDC Executive Committee regular meeting that was held on Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Wonderful. Roll call, please. Okay. Paula Garcia? Aye. Liam Hennick? Aye. Ms. Lola Aguilas? Aye. Don Bastion? Aye. Amy Chavez? Aye. Lori Chassie? Aye. Michael Crandall? Aye. Lynn LaPlante? Aye. Scott Feige? Aye. Great. That motion passes. I will entertain a motion to approve the uh, a third Approval of a third modification, second time extension to a community development block grant agreement with the Village of Glendale Heights, project number CD19-27, water main improvement, phase one, extending the project completion date through May 31st, 2022. So moved. Thank right. you. And a second. Wonderful. Questions and comments? Dave, would you like to um, speak to this? Sure. This is another uh, paperwork extension, which you know from previous meetings that I don't love. But I guess the, the heat is off in some ways because we met our timeliness figure, so it's not as crucial. Um, they need additional time. They didn't get the paperwork in time. But So we're okay with extending it through Mar May 31. The only thing, other thing I would note is at this point, there's only $20,000 left that needs to be drawn. They've drawn everything except the retainage. So it's a it's a extension for a small amount of money just to make sure the final paperwork's right and we get the final draw. Thank you, Dave. Any questions? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any against? No, that motion passes. I will entertain a motion to approve for the approval of a third modification excuse me, yes, a third modification to a community development block grant agreement with Gray Graham Association, project number CD20-04, renovation of Circle, Hale, and Elm community integrated living agreements, arrangements, reducing the scope of work, reducing the award amount by $30,367, and extending the project completion date through February 28th, 2022. So moved. Thank you. Second. Second. Okay. Second was Consuelo. Okay. Thank you so much. Dave, how about Wilson? Uh, another one. We're just trying to get over the finish line. So um, they'll be done by the end of the month. There was an item in the original scope of work that wasn't completed and they've decided to remove from the scope. So this cleans up that and it also balances the dollars based on the kind of final final con cost of the contract and what the split is between us and the partner. This, this corrects everything. So we're in good shape to close the project at the end of the month. Thank you, Dave. Any questions on that? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Um, any against? Okay, that motion passes. I entertain a motion to approve for the approval of a second modification to an emergency solutions grant, memorandum of understanding with DuPage County Community Services, Homeless Management Information Systems, project number ES20-06, increasing the award amount by $98 or a total award amount of $63,935. So moved. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Dave, can you please explain this, speak to this? Yeah, big dollars. Um, <laughs> with a lot of other, with, with several of the other funds, I could just move this and it wouldn't necessarily require a board item, um, but ESG is really particular and HUD really cares that we spend every dollar down to the last dollar and we have to spend that within two years of the agreement. So we identified, I think the reason was because we kind of have to project our numbers and then HUD give us our actual numbers. I think there was a discrepancy in there somewhere. We ended up $98 off. Best thing to do is just clean it, get the agreement correct. And then we have ongoing agreements with this. This is for HMIS, which is our homeless management information system software. So we won't have any problem spending the money. Um, this is just trying to make sure we spend every dollar of that ESG money so we don't get an email from HUD saying, you know, why did you not spend this $98? And then they have to, you know, take it out of our, our system. So um, just easier to be 100 to the dollar on this particular fund, I guess that's the point. 
Thank you very much. This is basically what we were calling dotting the I's and crossing the T's of a sort of a motion, just to be very precise and perfectly balanced. Um, any questions? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That motion passes. I move, I will entertain a motion to approve the first modification to a community development block grant agreement with City of West Chicago, project number CD21-03, Fair Meadow Subdivision Rehab Priority number two, changing the scope of work and increasing the award amount by $200,000 for a total award amount of $600,000. So moved. Thank you. Second? Second. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Second with member Chavez. Okay. It's hard with everyone masked, isn't it? Doing a fantastic job. Um, Dave, would you like to address this? Sure. So this is a project that will hit this construction season. So it'll it'll um, it was a 21 project, but we missed last construction season. So we'll go this construction season. As they were prepping and getting ready to do this, they realized that they've had five water main breaks in that stretch in the last you know since the application was submitted. Um, it felt like it made sense to, from their perspective to. Um, do the increase the size of the water main at the same time that they're doing some of the street and sidewalk improvements. Um, you know, a question this you could ask: Well, should they have initially applied for both water and streets at, back in 2019? But we're we're confident that that at that time they weren't aware that there was something going on, and that we, you know we we're taking their um, their word for that that they identified the problem and then are now are requesting additional funds. So um, the only other thing I would note about this is that. One of our goals since I've been here at least is to clean up old money and get it into projects. Mm -hmm. This is again doing that same thing. So taking money that was left over from a project in Addison, for example, and then re, uh, reallocating it towards this project. Um, so we'll keep trying to do that. It's always a moving figure because projects come in under or things get, you know, bids come in under than what the cost estimate was. There's always kind of moving numbers with that, but that's been one of our goals since I've been here is to try to get that program, get that money programmed into projects. Um, so we're we're in support of this. We have no questions or no concerns about their additional request. And then hopefully, yeah, this project should go, hopefully gets completed this construction season this summer and good to go. The only thing, other thing I would add is that since this application was received in 2019, we have increased the maximum award. Um, back when this application was submitted, 400,000 was our maximum award. It's now 600. Um, so we're now basically going up to the maximum that we currently have in our, under our current policy. Thank you for that explanation. Does anyone have any questions about that? No, seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. Do we have any other business that anyone would like to discuss? Just Dave. one. Um, okay. County board members, your committee chair assignments are for the whole calendar year, but for municipal members, you guys run April to March. So just a reminder that I'll be sending out a letter asking if you want to serve next year or if you want to, you know, anything needs to change in terms of who you assign to the committee and your municipalities. Um, just a reminder that we're coming up on that. So we would have uh, the March meeting is kind of a normal meeting. The April meeting is the all hands on deck meeting where every municipality is invited. And that's when we elect, um, or that's what we would need to have, we would need to have municipal members for the next year identified by that meeting. So I'll send out a letter, but just wanted to give you a heads up. Hard to believe that was, it's almost been a whole year. I can't believe that this has gone by so fast. Yeah. I have two quick things. Sure. Um, uh, Dave kind of brushed over it and I know we talked about it in January, but we did make our timeliness measure. Um, it's a really big deal. Um, it, it was a tremendous amount of work both by the community development staff, but also all of the uh, municipalities and nonprofits that we work with. So I just wanna thank uh, the staff and all of our partners for helping us get that money out the door where it does the most good. And then I just wanna thank Consuelo for your service to this committee. Um, I think your past uh, uh, CDBG administration um, experience was really helpful to the committee and um, I really valued your input. So uh, I wish you well and I, you'll still be in DuPage. I hope you're consider uh, representing someone else on this committee. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your words. Um, on my end, it's been a pleasure uh, serving on the commission um, and the advisory group. Uh, I have nothing but good things. Obviously, we all know what the importance of this is for CBBG funds. I think we're on the same page and we're doing good and making the, mess, the best use of the funds is really what we're here to do and I think you guys are doing a great job and Dave you do an awesome job oh, thank you yeah. thank yeah. you for that I have to recognize you and, and you know, 
you, uh, Lynn, and the uh, majority, everyone. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Consuelo. Thank, thank you. you for all of your work and always the wonderful attitude and positive upbeat energy that you bring to all of these meetings. So thank you. We wish you well. And thank you for your service. Okay, with that, I move to adjourn today's meeting until next month, um, March 1st. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? This meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Before the storm. Yeah. Yeah.